I don't like this doll. I don't like this doll's fashion. And I don't like the model who's sporting this fashion either. Not the model, but the clothes. Um, and they didn't do a good job at actually representing the that dress anyway, because the model was wearing uh, black pantyhose with little dots on it, and she's not. I understand they can't probably be completely spot on, but that's something that I noticed that I feel like if you're really meticulous, that's going to bug the fuck out of you, and you might even put black pantyhose on the bitch. Um, but I don't like that doll. Um, I love her. I love her so much. I really want her. I have mixed feelings about her. I don't know why they didn't root that part. I hate that they just decided to spray that on there. And uh, she's kind of like invisible, kind of not. Not quite sure why they chose this doll for this look. I have mixed feelings. Her heels, her legs are cool, but I have mixed feelings. Don't know. Um, and this one, like I said, I don't like the fact that her dress says dress on it. Her hair is fire. Her makeup matching her hair. Her, you know, her even tone. I was going to say her resin tone. She's not resin. You know, her plastic. Everything about her. She's she's fresh, but there's just something about that dress saying dress on it that's just, like, giving me cheap. I don't know. I try not to buy dresses with prints on them. I feel like... Uh, Royal people don't wear print. It's a thing. You're on the red carpet. I feel like you shouldn't have any type of print. It should be all about textures and patterns and shape and all that other good stuff. Um, this is just, like I said, screaming H&M with high-end gloves. You know, Not that there's anything wrong with H&M. I'm saying H&M because I kind of agree with Mama Roo. I feel like you can tell when something is just like you went to the mall and picked that up. You know, that's not like designer exclusive. And that's how I feel about this outfit. She's giving me couture for sure. Her hair, the length of her hair, her earrings, her eye makeup could have been a bit more dramatic. That's the only one complaint that I have about this doll. I feel like that brown eye could have been a yellow eye or could have been popping a bit more. The eye makeup could have been popping a bit more. They could have they could have and should have given her a drag queen makeup action going on with this look. There's no red on her eyelids anywhere, but she's got these red ass boots on. Um the nail in her neck is super sweet. I love that. I I I love that shit. I love how they did her. Um she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. She looks like she photographs well. It doesn't matter where you put her. She's just stunning everywhere. She's a good, she's good for photographs too. Like I hate that I I have, ugh, I just, I don't know. Her heels are the best and her gloves are the best. Her glasses, meh. Her hair, I love it, but yeah. And I love her heels and her skirt. That's it. I'm going to keep scrolling. This one. Boy. She looks like like they just did too much makeup on her. Like somebody just came and just dropped a shit ton of makeup on that one. Just smacked her all up. And on in certain lights, you can't really see what you're seeing. You know? And then that part right there that's like spray painted on. Or why didn't you guys root that? Her whole outfit is gorgeous, though. These boots. Let's talk about these boots. Yes and no. Now, I realize that these boots are based off of the real deal. Because in this youloveit.com, they show the actual models. Thank you for whoever created that. That is always appreciated. I say no. Because they look clunky for this look. Um, they could have went skin tight. S fucking skin tight, thigh high. Would have been sexier. Leather, skin tight, thigh high with even lacing going down the front. Hooker heels. Like, you know, like some stilettos. Bitch, now we're talking. With that dress like really flowing even longer to the floor. But these boots, they fall a little a little weak 
I like that you can see the red boot behind the dress, but I'm not living for these boots like I thought I was. Maybe I need to see them at a different angle, but these boots tricked me. I thought these was going to be fire and they're not, they're not as fire as I thought. So yeah, her shoes are cute. But her legs are cute, though, because they're kind of see-through. So maybe that's why I feel that way. But I really love her look. I just don't. If they would have rooted that part of the hair, then I would have been, like, fucking on the floor having a seizure. But it's just little shit like that that I pay attention to that it's just like, nah. I don't know. Nah. I hate her fucking hat. <sighs> I hate her hat, and then I don't, yeah, I don't know. Don't know, don't know. Like I said, they should have threw some red in there somewhere. <clears throat> they could have even did a little red line on her eyebrow somewhere. That would have been fire. Something. The doll wore it better. <laughs> the doll wore the dress. This dress is wearing the model. So I say no to this one. I say nay nay. Next, abso fucking lutely. Yes, I love that you can see that red boot under that. I love, I love this. Like I want this. This is gorgeous. Um, this model's not wearing any makeup, so maybe that's why they gave the the monster such a simple face up. But personally, a little pop of red in there somewhere, even like channel some Gwen Stefani and put like that little red dot in between the eyebrow, you know, that would have been fire or something, a red lip, a red choker, like a real, real tight, little skinny choker. It didn't even have to be anything too much. Just a little bit more red at the top to complement the red at the bottom, you know, but the doll is cute. This one, this is giving me, she just went to the mall. She ordered these fucking gloves from Paris and was like, okay, I need, oh, and the shoes from Paris too. And then she went to the mall and picked this up at H&M <laughs> for a cool $29.99. And then uh, she went to the store next to fucking H&M and got these glasses and was like, I'm ready. I don't need no lipstick. I don't need no earrings. I don't need nothing. I'm just ready to go. <laughs> the doll wore the dress better. The doll wore it. This, this is wearing the model. Especially what's going on from the neck up. What's going on here? You know? Fucking buckle fat removal. This is going on. Here is my point. Here is what I just said. I just said this shit. what I say? Somebody who's a maniac is going to want to go back and find some stockings for their doll. I know because personally, as a collector, I'm kind of like that. Attention to detail. I don't like this look. This is a faux pas for me. I don't know why. And then on her shirt says off. Does it say anything else? And then the off doesn't match what your hat says. I don't even know. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm trying to make these videos a lot shorter. If you guys have any comments, please feel free to leave them on my TikTok. At AgingBJD. <laughs>